Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, September 14th of 2018. This is just going to be a little general blog or whatever uh, about what's going on. Um, a couple days ago, I went for my yearly pacemaker checkup where I actually go to the heart doctor. And uh, in the past, they've had me, you know, well, had people go, you lay down on the table, and then they would uh, put the device over your pacemaker, it reads data in, then they uh, send you over to the uh, the doctor, and the doctor has the data, and, you know, talks to you and everything. Um, when they do that, they can tell how much power the battery has left in it, all types of stuff, so my battery, hopefully, will be good for another uh 24 months or two years. Um, <clears throat> also, this time they, uh, they've done it away with when you go have the scan done, they don't have you lay down on a cart anymore. They just have you sit in a chair. That's much nicer, much easier. You don't have to climb up on the cart. And I don't feel too great laying quietly flat on my back for uh, a while. So I... So the, the chair was better. Uh, so um, when I went over to the heart doctor and uh, they had all the data there and everything, I explained that my regular doctor had uh, suggested I cut down my uh, blood pressure medication from 20 milligrams to 10 milligrams. And I wanted to check, and they said, oh, yeah, that's fine. Well, because I had the uh, information with me that I showed, you know, where my blood pressure was running 105, 106 over, and it was low. And I said I was kind of faint. And then I showed where on the <coughs> thing I had started cutting the medication in half and where my blood pressure was back up higher, and I wouldn't feel, so they said fine. Um, I explained a little bit because I they actually wanted to hear about it, me leaving the hospital, uh, AMA, for my leg infection after six days, and you know because I didn't think they really would you know that's they're interested in the heart and they didn't even look at the leg or anything because they're not interested in those kind of things, but actually uh, they were interest sort of interested in the story but I may I kept it very short, I thought I did a good job of condensing it you know. Uh, and, but then I did say, I said, uh, I'm really not looking forward to, uh, going back into the hospital, but at my age, I, you know, probably have that to look forward a few times, but that I really wasn't looking forward to going into it. And I said, of course, you know, they're, they weren't very nice people, but I said, they were looking at the computer on the wall and they really weren't listening to me. Then they also had their hospital rules and, uh. Let me remove this thing here. Lower third. Turn that off. So um, I said, I'm not really looking forward. Uh, I said, I, I may not live uh, 24 months. And uh, I said, the battery may outlast me. And of course, they laughed and said, oh, no, you'll be fine, you know. Um, I said, I'm not looking forward. I said, I hope that when you have to put a new battery in, I said, I hope I could go in like in the morning and you'd put the battery in and then send me home in the afternoon. And they said, yes, that's exactly the way it will work. So I said, oh, that's good. And uh, by the way, because not here so much, I hope the people find, I have a video, a couple of videos about the pacemaker. Um, and actually, it gets, uh, one of them gets quite a few, even after all these years, uh, I get people who regularly, just the other day, a couple people who said, oh, thank you very much for your video. I just had a pacemaker put in, or I'm going to have a pacemaker put in, or my father had, and that gets quite a few, a little bit of traffic. So I'll mention it here, uh, because I've, I've reported, you know, hey, pacemaker was put in and I had no pain at all 
and I've had absolutely zero problem. I had like somebody said, oh, I like to play uh, tennis or something rather. And I said, you should, you know, talk to your doctor and everything. But I, I don't think you're going to have any difficulties, you know, at all. And I haven't had any. Um, so, um, but I did notice something that so I go like once a, I, every three months remotely I do a scan over the phone and it goes to them and they look at it and see it once a year to go at the office. So I was at the office a year ago. Now they have, so this is not, f this is for the people who uh, perhaps, uh, you know, maybe they'll find me. Um, Maybe I should put a link to this link or something. Or maybe I should just go and type it in the uh, comment section there. I noticed something new on the walls there at the place, posters all over, saying uh, a tree thrill, a, a, well, man, we have trouble with this. Atrial defrib, defib, which is uh, when your heart goes and it's not doing any good pumping at all. And that's why I like CPR doing, I used to be a CPR instructor. CPR doesn't do any good for this. That's where you have to have the shock, and that's why schools and lots of places have these things mounted on the wall like fire extinguishers and where they can come over and somebody can read the instructions very easily, very quickly, put it in, it will automatically fire if your heart is doing that. And it saves people. You know, not all the time, but like you may have seen on YouTube videos of high school students or college students, you know, playing basketball or baseball or something and just go down and the school comes over and, you know, it zaps them or whatever. So anyway, that's atrial defib or defibrillation. I'm saying it wrong. Uh... But they had posters up saying that uh, there is an increased risk of that for people who have pacemakers put in. You know, in the past, they said, well, there's an increase if you have a pacemaker put in. You know, there's a, a small chance you may get an infection. And uh, but now they have these posters up uh, warning people that there is an increased risk for atrial defibrillation. I think defibrillation is when that, you know, okay, whatever. Having your heart do that. And uh, I noticed it said that uh, it seems to turn up uh, before the 123rd day after you've had it put in. Now, you know, th there again, this is a small chance. But it's things they're putting up to inform you. But your doctor is going to now, I'm sure, will be saying, hey, you know, there's a small percent chance that you may get an infection from the operation to put the pacemaker in. And I'm sure the doctors are going to say, now we're going to have to monitor you a little extra close, uh, especially for the first, you know, 130 days, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, so the, uh, uh, so that's something to be aware of. And I wanted to pass that along because I went there. And I guess I actually need to go put a, the information on the, video that I have. Uh, my son is my youngest. I have four children and my youngest is going to be 43 here in a few days. I'm 77 years old. I didn't get married till I was 26. So married kind of late. The, the, uh, uh, so, uh, Windows Build just did a, a new release. I got mine a couple of days ago, and my ex-wife got hers yesterday or whatever. And I'll put the link below if I can remember it, too. Well, they really didn't give. There's a Twit, and uh, they have, like, every week Windows Weekly, and they have Google Weekly every week or whatever. And so I watched the entire, it's about an hour long, I watched the entire, yesterday, and they talked about the, I think, are they calling it Redstone 2 or something, rather, which is now what they're, and, uh, but they didn't really give 
because I don't think it's a, a lot of new stuff. It's updating uh, stuff or whatever. But so anyway, I'll try to remember to put a link below to Twit, and you can go watch that, or maybe just do a search. In fact, uh, I think if you go to let me go to um, what do I want to go to? Oh, okay, go to settings in Windows 10. And then go to update and security. Let me drag this over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Your device recently got the latest Windows 10 update with new features. So if you click here, then I think you can, you know, use this to find out a little bit about uh, some of the things that are new. And actually, they're, they're not all, in fact, very few of them are, they're not new from yesterday, but they're things that have been, like, let's see what's here, new. Return to past activities in your timeline. Um, that's really useful, and I forget to use it all the time. Uh, so, anyway, let's... Exit out of there. We don't need that. Or I can, this is a, yeah, okay. I can close this, can't I? No, I didn't. What did I close? Um, I ordered the Google Wi-Fi system. It will be here Sunday. I, I mentioned this before that I was going to be ordering it. I won't be doing a, um, I won't be doing a review on it, but I'll, because there, a whole bunch of people have made, they've given it fantastic reviews, and on YouTube there's a whole bunch of really, really great um, reviews, so I'll try to, I may not get it, when I upload this video, when I upload a video, sometimes I have to come back like the next day and add some links underneath it or whatever, but so I'll try to get those, if, because if you want to look at a, uh, now, when I get it, I will mention, you know, it and talk about a little bit. It's not going to be a review because people have done great reviews of it. Um, so I'm going to be getting it on Sunday. I'm just getting one unit because we live in an apartment. I may get another unit later on. Um uh, I am using voice over IP for two phone lines here. So let me show here. Let's see. By the way, see, it has an app. And it's really. Now, so this, when I get it, I'll plug in, you know, plug it into the uh, cable modem. And uh, then the other one, you could run a directly to a and use wire to go to a computer or something like that. Uh, what I'll probably do have to do is, because I have voice over IP and I have the little box, so I'll need to plug the box into that. And uh, so anyway, I may mention a little bit about it, but it will be here Sunday. And like I said, I live in an apartment, so it's small. And I think only one unit is all that I'll, you know, all that I'll need. Um, by the way, if you notice the uh, video here, I'm using my Panasonic, let's see, let's show you that. I'm using the Panasonic G7, and I'm going into the CamLink device that I purchased. And, uh, I'm thinking I may just, which is kind of a waste when you look at the price, I'm and I disconnected the USB webcam. I am, I'm not good at, I can't do, you know, most of all of you probably, you can be playing a video game, answering email, and watching a Netflix movie or something. Rather, I can only do one thing. I can only do one thing at a time. And when I try to use multiple devices, monitors, which I'm using now, and so, uh, so um, what I did is I just connected the Logitech um, 
webcam, which works really well. And I'm just, I think I right now, I'm just kind of right now dedicate, I may change my mind tomorrow, but dedicate the uh, Panasonic G7 camera to doing this. So that it's hooked into Cam Link. I should have pulled up the link for that device. Uh, well, let's see. I can still do that, can't I? Because uh, I purchased it. I can go to Amazon. I can go to uh, orders and put cam link. So here it is, uh, right here. So I've got that plugged into a USB port and then now, you'll have to check if you want to do something like this. Make sure that whatever digital camera you have, there's only two, I believe, Panasonic cameras that will work like this. Um, so you want to make sure that whatever camera, or else you want to make sure, well, you're buying that and then you're buying a camera, whatever. So you need to check on that. Uh, I have not installed the app yet. I need to do that on... Panasonic and then I'll be able to use my cell phone or a tablet and zoom in and out and do various things and uh, figure out some other stuff so I'll get that Sunday. My uh, few days ago, uh, my daughter wanted to know if uh, I wanted to go to the casino uh, with her son, my grandson, and we all three went out there together. And uh, they both did not leave with extra money. I, I left with $130 extra. So yesterday or whatever, my daughter wanted to know if I wanted if uh, I wanted to go and if um, my son, her brother, wanted to go. He, he's the one whose birthday is coming up here in a few days. So we went out and we all three lost. So I don't think I'm going to be going back for a while. Uh, but <laughs> Hillary will be, be going out. I think she went out again yesterday with with uh, Russell my grandson her son so anyway went we went to uh, Windstar actually went to a place next uh, uh, next to it and then we went no I'm not sure we made it over next door we lost all our money right there so it's a uh, Windstar is a nice place it's right across Texas it's not allowed so it's right across the border, about an hour drive or less, maybe 45 minutes over into Oklahoma across the border. So we got to go from Port Worth, across Dallas, and then to the casino. I do like to uh, gamble, but I only like to gamble <laughs> you know, if I'm going to win a little bit. I don't like the long drive home uh, being a loser. I've been talking to you about getting a new cell phone and now I'm looking at the Moto G6 the only thing is it only has three gigabytes of memory although you can put a micro SD card in and you know 128 gigabytes but um, I wish it had four gigabytes of memory the price is really really cheap and it's not a bad I don't do a lot with my cell phone uh, but uh, thinking about getting Oh, I see they have. It's X'd out, though. Oh, no, it's not. Wait a minute. Okay, 32 gigabyte storage, 3 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, okay. There you go. Is it in stock? Okay, that's what I want to do. There you go. 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes. I need to add that to the cart. 
no thanks. And uh, so that's okay. There you go. Great. I'm glad. I'm glad you, that we checked that. Um, okay. Um, nice camera. You know, I have, like I've mentioned before many times, I have three Panasonic cameras. None of them are waterproof. I would like to have one that uh, is waterproof. Because I do worry when I take the cam, and I don't take the cameras out a lot, but I do worry. Um, so I actually made a little list. Well, only three items on there: my son's birthday, pacemaker check, and Windows build. So I'm going to bring this to a conclusion. Um, want to thank you very much for uh, for watching <laughs>